Hello everyone, guess where we are? Greece! <laughs> We're in Greece and this is the start of our European summer. We got in yesterday, really late at night, after a really long and hard travel day. Oh, no. Our flight got delayed really long. I traveled for like 30 hours straight, didn't sleep at all. So we just passed out and just woke up. We're in Mykonos and we have a literal three week, three weeks of travel ahead of us and this is the start. Who's excited? We're so excited. <laughs> I just can't wait to actually be here now that the traveling is done. Look at our rooftop. This is our first impression because we also haven't been up here. <gasps> We're in Greece! Look how good our food looks, but that's not the best part because it looks... And then I got a frappe to try. Now it's time to absolutely demolish this. Okay, now we're walking into the town. We just finished our meal. That was so good. And it's so cute. This is like a little tiny beach. I don't really know. Okay, we walked into like the little Venice main town and now we're booking a dinner reservation because we're really thinking ahead. We're really getting prepared so we can have a sunset view at dinner. Should I add a special occasion and say like we're on like, say it. Bachelor, pretty but getting married. <laughs> I need to say something so they put us. Yeah, do birthday. Engagement. Female birthday, holiday. We're on holiday. Yeah. But I feel like we should say like a celebration or something. Celebration. Yeah. That we're both single at the same time. Literally, rarely before seen. <laughs> First summer. Like First summer. summer. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Look at this donkey. Unattended. Oh. oh. She's gonna get like kicked by it. We're currently doing our recharging session back at the hotel. Post lunch, sweating, came back to charge our phones and look at our pictures and not speak and yeah lay in the air conditioning um we do this on every single trip and if you don't do this i would not be able to travel with you because it's the literal only way to survive on vacation is halfway through the day you just rot for an hour and then now we're gonna put our bathing suits on and go to like a close by beach like not one of the really nice ones just one that's close because the uv is an eight and we want to be tan we're gonna come back and get ready for dinner and we have a nice reservation by the water so we're eating italian the first night which is not what we wanted. We wanted like full Greek We salad. wanted full Greek, but that's the only thing we could get a reservation yeah. for. So tomorrow, we should make a, a reservation tonight for a Greek place tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, see you at the beach. I fell asleep and I just woke up some man screaming. Can you hear him? I was having the most beautiful nap in my life. <laughs> that's what I was just talking about. Zoe was woken up too. I was literally in REM sleep. Actually, no, I was in deep sleep. And then I hear, hey, hey. Like his kid is right next to him. The Why kid is literally sleep? right next to him. But I guess they're having fun. Um, I'm tanning my back for the first time this season. And I feel my butt about to be so red and sunburned because it's never seen the light of day. Okay, we're back from the beach now. But now I need to get ready to go out to dinner. We're gonna listen to some music and get ready. Not this though, because it's fucking sad. <laughs> Okay, we just got ready for dinner. I got my long hair in. And we're wearing the same outfits as before because we don't have enough outfits to <laughs> switch outfits a million times a day like we normally do. So I'm wearing high heels and Zoe isn't and I'm literally full head taller. <laughs> literally a full head. Guys, we're at dinner and we're literally sitting on each other's laps. Because it's so tight. But the sunset, you can't see it because it's blocked. But we were supposed to be on the seafront. But... Okay, we're at dinner. Did I already vlog on here? <laughs> but um, our food came and I ordered a Greek salad and that's not a Greek salad. And I thought I was crazy because I was like, that's definitely not a Greek salad. No, I think you actually vlogged before the Greek salad. Came. Yeah, and I was like, yay, Greek salad. And then they brought that. And then I asked her, I was like, is this a Greek salad? She said, yes. And then I was like, wait, can I see the menu? And then she showed me the menu and it wasn't the Greek. And then I was like, no, it's not. And she's like, oh yeah, no, it's not. She was really nice about she, Yeah, she was really nice. She's bringing me the right one, I think. But I was so sad because I was like, this is not what I remember a Greek salad being. <laughs> Here we have our truffle fries and this thing. And I was telling you didn't know this is a truffle. This is a truffle, and I was telling Zoe the history of truffles. I don't know why. Oh, oh, yeah. Can you bring some down here. Sorry, I'll put this. Here, All we right. can take this away. Okay. Yeah. So leave it down here. Yes. Thank you so much. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I was telling her how I learned all about the history of truffles and how they can only be found by dogs that can sniff them out, and then the humans go hunting and they dig and they find like one mushroom like every few miles, and it takes so long, and that's why they're so rare and so expensive. Um, now I'm so educated. Of the history of truffle mushroom. Look at that. Isn't it infamous? What are they called? 
windmills. I forget. Okay, now the sunset's done. We're gonna go find some dessert. You guys wanna see the moon? And I think that's a planet next to it, but I don't know which one. We just changed into clothes because it got a little cold out, and now we're gonna go get some gelato. But it's gonna tell Zoe, but I thought I might. Oh, this is so awkward filming in front of people. Actually, wait a second. <laughs> Anyways, literally that entire group of like 15 people were just like, yeah, we're like all hits turn. But what I was gonna say, a low key embarrassing experience that shouldn't be embarrassing, besides vlogging in public, that should be embarrassing, <laughs> is going on vacation with your parents and you're walking with your parents and you pass like a cute boy your age. Yeah. And you're with your family. Yeah, no, that's so awful. <laughs> well, because I just saw this boy and he like was with his whole family and he like he looked at us and away from his <laughs> he family. walked away from his family so it looked like he wasn't with them. Okay, this is really busy and I'm awkward so I'm gonna go. Look how good that looks. In a waffle home bowl. <laughs> it looks so good. Good morning everybody, it's the next day and we just got to the beach. We had to take the bus so I didn't vlog because it's a little bit chaotic. But we just got a fruit platter served to us. But now we're going to rot in the sun, go in the ocean. And swim to the yacht. And swim all the way out to whoever owns that yacht. Befriend I'm them. I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Help me. Can I please find safety on your boat? It's actually so far away. I would drown before Isn't we got there. Moving? I have nothing to update on because we're still sitting here. I got a bucket of ice and I've just been letting it like, I'm just melting ice all over me because I'm so hot. And the water is like kind of too cold to go in. Actually it's not, I'm just a wimp so we went in. But I only like ducked, I couldn't like swim. It's a little too chilly. Kind of cool, but there's a lot of people in there. I wanna be on that yacht. It's literally a huge, super mega yacht. Guys, look how beautiful it is. Guys, look, that little star is in a different spot today. Look at this Greek spread platter we just got. And I also got the nice glass of red wine. And so we got a drink and a coconut. As soon as we finished taking pictures, I just literally ugly find myself. I put on this sweatshirt and put my hair like this in a George Washington bun. And so it looks like this. <laughs> they offer blankets here. Like, how nice. Oh, another Greek salad. I need you to look at this DJ and tell me that's not Joe Goldberg. Is that Joe Goldberg? Oh, good morning. I almost just slipped and fell and my camera cut out as I was doing it so you missed it. But we have already eaten breakfast and gotten ready for the day and now we're going to find a place to get, we're going to a place to get like the permanent jewelry bracelet. What are you gonna choose? It's always gonna go first. She's committed to like tattoos and stuff, so this isn't a yeah. big deal to her. But now I have to commit to gold jewelry, which is exactly. Me on the other hand, can't commit to literally anything. So cute. Show the hands. She's a gold girl now. <laughs> All right, our hand's gonna get electrocuted now. Ready. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome, baby. Okay, your turn. How cute are they? Guys, I just Hi. met two viewers from Florida and we met in Greece of all places. Like, look at Guys, <laughs> it's too windy to even vlog, but I got sushi. So we got a random pasta because she asked for a pasta and the guy was like, that one's not very good and made her get this other random one. How is it? It's actually <laughs> What is it? I have no idea. Also, it's so windy out there. We're back home. We just went on a mission to go find dessert and we got a tiramisu. And. and Oh. Red velvet cake. We're gonna have a little dessert in bed action. Mm, wait for me, wait for me. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes so good. It tastes a little wooden because of the spoon. Tiramisu. Cheers. Mm, that is so good. 10 out of 10. Recommend this over going to the club. Good morning. <laughs> We're on a bus about to get on a ferry to Paris. So next destination. But I'm literally sweating. We just walked almost a mile with our luggage through the rocky cobblestone terrain. Okay. Hi. Interrupting from the future as I'm editing this, realizing I didn't vlog the rest of this entire day, and now I'm remembering why, and it was because we had to take the bus to the ferry port, and I was already sweating because we just carried our suitcases, like I said, a mile on cobblestone. The bus had no AC. The bus ride ended up taking so much longer than we thought. We thought it was gonna be like 10 minutes. It was like an hour. Don't know why. Then we finally got to the ferry port. Our ferry got delayed two hours, and we were just standing in the sun, and we were both so hungry because we hadn't eaten before. We had to wake up early for the ferry, and we thought we were gonna be able to eat as soon as we got to Paris, but then everything was getting delayed 
waited and it was just taking so long. So we were just standing in the hot sun waiting for our ferry. We finally got online for our ferry, finally got to Paros. We were starving. As soon as we got off the ferry, we ate. We had our luggage again and we realized it was a mile walk to our Airbnb and there was no public buses and we couldn't figure out how to get a taxi. It was like a weird time of day where like all the shops were closed for like the lunch time. So we like didn't know what to do. So we ended up walking a mile in the scorching hot sun with our luggage and our heavy backpacks on cobblestone again, all the way to our Airbnb. We were literally on like the side of a main road. It was actually kind of not safe, but we didn't know what else to do. And we finally got to our Airbnb. I've never been that sweaty in my life. My entire shirt was drenched. We took showers immediately and we just stayed in. I'm pretty sure we like ordered pizza or something or we went and got pizza, brought it back and went to bed. And then the next clips are from the next day. So that's why we didn't vlog. We had a very chaotic, long, hard, strenuous, hot travel day. So yeah, just thought I'd fill you in on why there was a gap, but we had a lot of fun after that not so fun day. Good morning, everybody. We're live from a quad <laughs> in the middle of the street. <laughs> just rented this four-wheeler for the day and we're in Paros now. We're gonna go on a whole adventure and I forgot to start the vlog before we got on, so I'm starting it now. It's our first day in Paros, first full day. We're very excited. So we literally found our own private beach in this cove. Look at this, the perfect setup. No one's even bothering us over here. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's not like embarrassing to make TikToks Yeah, because right there's now, literally like no- Everyone's minding their business. Everyone's swimming. <laughs> Step here and then swing off. Okay, ready? My hand. Oh, you're gonna be slippery. <laughs> Just made a stop for lunch. I got a sandwich. Looks so good. And coffee. It's so nice. Hi. We just stopped to get some Greek frozen yogurt. Real authentic Greek yogurt, but frozen. Before we make our venture back, to the hotel to get ready for sunset. I have to show you sunset last night. It was literally unreal. You know what time it is? Rotting session. Time for a recharge session. You already know the routine by now. And we have picks to go through, which is like the yeah. best recharge session. When you're going through picks during the recharge, it just hits different. You just hear like our But nails. you know what doesn't hit? Is that we don't have an outlet by our bed. So we're gonna have to like stand by the charger. <laughs> <laughs> ready to drive us home? I'm so ready. <laughs> We just got back to our hotel and there's a cat on our balcony. Look how cute! So cute. Oh. Stay there. No, 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 stay there. No, 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 no. Don't come inside, please. Here. He really likes it. Good job. Okay. He wants to come inside so bad, but we can't because I'm allergic. <laughs> I'm gonna put water in it, the seashell. Oh. Okay, wait, we stay. <laughs> stay back. Here. Look at them. Oh. Oh. Don't chew on my seashell. <laughs> <laughs> it's still on my seashell. Wait, wait. Okay, you can have it, I guess. Peace. I wish there was like a film over it so fucking bugs don't come in. If the cat comes, I'm letting the screen. It's gonna scare the show. <laughs> don't meow, it's gonna fucking attack you. I'm a scab, but it's itchy, so I'm just gonna itch it and bleed. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you have to do it now. I can't have an editor because I literally just walked through the camera naked. Imagine if some man was like editing it. He's like, whoa, I'm trying to film an aesthetic clip and I'm just itching myself and walking through the camera naked. <laughs> <laughs> showered got re-ready now we're like dressed up but about to get on our quad full dress on okay we're going to go return our quad now and then we're going for a sunset swim so 
Okay, we made it to the beach. We returned our quad. And look how pretty and peaceful it is here. I have sunscreen in my scalp. Oh. And now we're on a midnight swim. No, mid not midnight. Sunset swim. Sunset swim. We put our dresses back on, we literally just changed at the beach. But now we're gonna go eat something. Look at the table we're getting. Look at our view of the table we just got sat at. We're literally on the ocean, like front row, and we have a friend, look. We have Charlotte herself spinning a web right above our table. We're not gonna harm her though, let her do her thing. I got Pita and Tzatziki and I'm so excited. I can't believe the moon is literally right behind me. What moon phase is that? Um, waning crescent. <laughs> it's a first quarter. Look, I have the moon phases right here. First quarter. Good morning everyone, it's the next day and we're currently sitting on the side of the street with all of our belongings waiting for the ferry and we have the longest travel day ever. This day is not going to be fun. We went from our hotel and then we had to... But we were going to try to ride the quad with our luggage on it but it wouldn't fit so Zoe had to bring the quad back. Yeah. Our hotel owner, his name was Peter, and this is the hotel we stayed at. Everyone should stay here. First of all, it was cheap. Second of all, he was so nice. He drove me and all our bags to the port, which was so nice because we were going to have to walk like a mile with all of our luggage on like cobblestone streets. And he really did not have to do that, and that was very nice of him. So, very grateful. But now we're at the ferry port, waiting to get on our ferry. Then we have to take this ferry, take a bus to the airport in Mykonos, get on a plane in Mykonos, fly from Mykonos to Milan, take a train from Milan to Verena, where we're staying on Lake Como and taxi to our Airbnb. So we're not gonna get there until late tonight and it's the early morning now. So it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day, but hopefully our ferry doesn't get late. Let's just hope for the best, that everything goes smoothly. Okay, we're on the ferry at least. We're right in front of the food. 